Good afternoon, everybody. Mr. Brosnahan here from the Marion School District with a quick Marion Minute update. I'm hoping to keep this under about 10 minutes or so. Hopefully, if you've tuned in, that you have the opportunity to take a look at everything that we've got going on here, and hopefully it's informative for you to hear about some of the things that are going on here at the school. Today being Thursday, March 28th, 2024, hopefully you've had a great week up to this point and hopefully you have a fantastic weekend as it has fallen upon us really quickly, especially with the two snow days that we had this week. Um, again, I know that those are inconvenient for everybody, but do want to obviously reiterate just the safety and everything that uh, went into that decision. So I do appreciate the support that I have received from it. And, um, you know, hopefully it's not too much of an inconvenience here as we have to make up those two days here in the future. With that being said, the two dates that we will be making up for the snow days are Friday, April 26th and Friday, May 10th. So Friday, the 26th of April and Friday, the 10th of May. Uh, those two days are currently on the school calendar as help days and our built in snow days if and when we needed them. Unfortunately, we did need them this year, but fortunately we have them built in, so we don't have to add on to the end of the year. So please keep that in, in mind and on your schedule, April 26th and May 10th are two makeup dates for school that we missed earlier this week. Um, as we get going along, I'd like to formally send out uh, some information regarding the school board and the school district back at our March meeting, the school board did approve a new bond resolution. It's very exciting for us here as far as the master planning project goes and everything that goes along into that. Um, one of the things that the board did look at was obviously uh, with the vote that, it, uh, that came in the last time, there was um, a, a section of population that said, hey, you know what, we're not ready to be on board with this yet, but uh, maybe, uh, maybe we, we would be if we could get the, the dollar amount down a little bit. And so the board took some of that into consideration. They had a lot of great discussion. Um, unfortunately, nobody was uh, publicly at that meeting, but the board did discuss very in depth and talked extensively as far as the direction that we should look to go here. Um, I did have a chance to work with Co-op Architects who we've been working with throughout this whole entire process. And uh, they've come up with some, some adjustments to the initial proposal. Uh, basically is what that did was it decreased a little bit of square footage in different areas. It removed um, the front elevator piece because um, as we do have an elevator in the school for ADA compliance, which obviously cuts the total cost um, to an extent. Um, so we did decrease the, uh, the total project down to approximately with an estimate of $10.9 million. Um, and the way that the school board is asking to do this is through capital outlay certificates, is also through cash that we have on hand. Again, neither one of those two entities or funding for funding pieces uh, implicate taxes whatsoever. So that piece of the project will not implicate the taxation um, piece. And then the board did approve a resolution for a six million dollar bond, and. What that does is with that decrease, um, it does decrease obviously the amount that it would impl uh, impact taxation um, down to about 96 to 98 cents uh, per thousand. So on a $100,000 uh, tax evaluation home, it would increase taxes by between 96 and 98 dollars a year. Um, obviously, that's come down from the, the, pre, the past uh, estimates that we had. Um, number one, it's come down, obviously, because we're, the board is asking for a lower dollar amount. Uh, but we are also very, very optimistic because it is lower due to the current uh, interest rates that have been out there as of late. Um, and they're showing in this area a downward trend. So as long as we can continue that trend, obviously, we're hoping to see that number come down. But with that project, you know, we, we really want to stress the vision that the school district and the school board wants to move in as far as three, these three phase plans go. With phases one and two, it really focuses on the, the, uh, the hub of the school, 
with different updates and things. It obviously adds square footage. It adds a cafeteria. Um, it adds some public access points, primarily to the weight room. Uh, better access for the public to be able to utilize that facility, as well as our public library. It puts the public library kind of on the northwest corner of the school. Uh, better public access in that regard for our public to be able to come and go there and utilize the facility in that regard. Um, another big thing with that is it's going to extremely, extremely enhance learning spaces. Um, as we look at some of the, the needs that our classrooms have currently, um, uh, when, you're, when you're looking at updating uh, the classrooms, you're also able to update what you're able to provide within those classrooms with spacing and everything else. Um, and I truly believe and would like to discuss with anybody who doesn't agree, um, you know, how that would benefit not only the school district and community as a whole, but more importantly, our students and the education that our students are receiving here at Mary at the Marion School District. And uh, again, I'd love to chat with anybody who is on the fence, um, who is in favor for this uh, project or for those who are not in favor of this project. Uh, I'm not saying that uh, I can particularly maybe change your mind, um, but at the same time, I wanna make sure that everybody has the facts um, and the facts of what the project is looking to do, the facts about what the project is intending to do, and so by having those conversations with myself or with a school board member, we can make sure that you have that uh, in your toolbox to be able to make the best informed decision that you are able to do based on what you think is best. So please contact me here at the school anytime, 605-648-3615. Uh, or again, my cell phone is 605-376-1909. I'd be happy to talk with you more about it. Um, as we continue to move forward with the bond in this project, um, I am gonna be looking to do some different um, get togethers, so to speak, or town halls where, I can where I'd like to invite some community members to different areas. Uh, maybe, again, set up some different coffee uh, get togethers to be able to, again, just discuss and make sure that uh, the voters, the community and the taxpayers have the facts of the project and exactly what this will all entail for the district and community. So please give me a call or reach out if and when you feel the need. Happy to chat with you. Um, the vote for that will be, or is scheduled, I should say, is scheduled for June 4th, which is the primary vote here in South Dakota. So that first Tuesday in June will be when uh, the voters will be able to cast their vote one way or the other. Uh, for this resolution uh, to move forward or to not. So again, please be mindful in um, communicating and uh, as we want to be open and honest with everybody here and just transparent with what this project is looking to do and how we can move forward with it. Um, as we continue to go here, we are almost done with March. So that means we only have probably 30 to 35 school days left which is unbelievably crazy to think about, um, which means that my administration, Mr. Lieberman and I, uh, have been very diligently working to get the updated schedule for next year out so our students, especially our junior high and high school students, know what classes are gonna be offered. And uh, we're really excited to get this rolled out to our kids um, as we've got some really, in my opinion, some really great opportunities. We've added some new classes, we've added some new offerings um, throughout the middle school, throughout the high school. Um, some in particular, for example, we're gonna be adding some middle school art um, in a wheel scenario. A wheel is where it's kind of an exploratory course for about a quarter a year, or excuse me, a quarter throughout the year, but be able to kind of switch classes and be able to be exposed to some of these new things. So we're really excited there. Um, our school board also did just um, just recommend and uh, approve that we are going to um, petition the state for a eighth grade waiver, uh, meaning that some of our all of our eighth graders next year are going to be able to take uh, health um, as a half a credit class, and they're going to be able to earn uh, high school credit for that course. Uh, they're also going to be able to, with some stipulations. Um, take Algebra 1 as an 8th grader if they are ready 
and uh, there's going to be a process set process excuse me that's set up for that uh, more will be rolled out but that's going to be based on teacher recommendation standardized test results and just overall readiness and maturity of the individual so trying to trying to push our students and provide more opportunities there um, at the high school level we're rolling out some new ag courses and cte opportunities um, we're going to be doing um, some conceptual chemistry uh, some additional coursework in the science area there so just a lot of exciting things in the area of the academics that i really hope that that the kids and and staff are excited for as well as you obviously and uh, provide that for them to push and and help them excel as much as they possibly can so um, that schedule is about done um, I need to finish up talking with teachers about kind of uh, assignments and different things like that. And then Miss Usella is going to receive that full schedule and uh, start our students with the registration process for next year. So we're excited to get that rolled out. Um, as we get going along, speaking of the, uh, the state testing assessment with our eighth graders for algebra, um, we do have smarter balance testing coming up here very soon in the month of April. Um, I really want to stress the importance of the Smarter Balance tests. I know that there are mixed reviews on uh, standardized tests in general, but they really are important for us to showcase uh, the learning and the ability of our students here at the Marion School District. Uh, those tests will be taken by, uh, it'll be uh, reading and math will be taken by 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th, and 11th graders, so 3rd through 8th and 11th. The math uh, and then the uh, the fifth, eighth, and eleventh grade students will take the uh, Smarter Balance Science at assessment as well. So they will have a a third test to go along with that. Um, we're really excited about uh, being uh, very positive about the tests coming up. We've got some different incentives that we're going to be doing with getting kids in and feeding them breakfast and doing some different things. Uh, there will be some incentives outside of school that they have the opportunity to potentially look at earnings so we just want to make it a positive thing and want to encourage you as parents and community members to also support that as we get going along and when those schedules get rolled out uh, want to definitely work with your students to obviously get good sleep get good breakfast and and everything that goes along with that so they're sharp and ready to go on those dates just like every day but really on those dates as well um April 9th, coming up here, April 9th on Tuesday, we have a school board election coming up. Uh, we're really excited to have uh, four individuals running for two positions on the Marion School Board. Um, and I would encourage you, there's been a, uh, I believe in the Freeman Courier yesterday or today, um, there was a, a questionnaire that came out regarding um, the the candidates and where their viewpoints were I really encourage you to take a look at that if you haven't seen that yet um, but also um, when you get an opportunity give those individuals a call in this case it happens to be four gentlemen this time and uh, give them a call and, and really pick their brain and talk to them about what their goals are uh, for the school and where they really see the school going I think that um, they would be able to definitely help uh, you know explain to you why you should or maybe shouldn't vote for them and make sure that again you're informed on the decision that you're making when you decide to vote on hopefully April 9th so please uh, please put that on your calendar and be ready to vote for that uh, the top two vote getters in that race will be the two that are elected to be part of the school board going forward um, again, if you have any questions regarding absentee voting, please call the school, 648-3615, and ask for Crystal. Crystal is our business manager, and she is the one who takes care of all of the, uh, the elections and, and getting those set up. She also handles the absentee voting piece of that, and she can definitely help direct you on how you can do that if that is a way that you choose to vote in this school board election. Otherwise, April 9th. That would be fantastic. Um, what else do we got? Couple just minor things here. We've got a blood drive that's coming up here at the school. It'll be in the large gym 
That'll be on April 17th. I know that there was one uh, back in January for um, one of our seniors' senior project endeavors, and that she had a uh, fantastic turnout and fantastic results at that uh, blood drive that she had. And we'd, we'd like to encourage you to come back in on April 17th to donate blood. Um, we feel that it's a, a fantastic way to be able to give back and help those that are in need. And obviously we never know when we may need uh, blood from a donor. And uh, we always want to make sure that they've got good supply to help those that may need it. Um, finally, I think I'm just gonna leave it here. I already see I'm at 15 minutes. I apologize for going a little bit long here, but we do have prom in the gym on April 12th. Prom will be here on April 12th. We're looking forward to that uh, excitement for the, the high school kids as well as the memories that are made there. And uh, so we're starting to get geared up for that. Obviously all the spring sports, golf, track, uh, and softball are in full swing. Hopefully with the snow going away this weekend, they'll be able to get out and get some of those activities in uh, starting next week. Finally, before I go, want to uh, send a big shout out to our music teacher, Miss Henches, uh, for the music program and the music concert that was held last Thursday uh, for the elementary uh, choral and then the junior high and high school band and choir concert. Fantastic job. I've had a lot of individuals reach out to me um, just expressing what a nice job the kids and she did. Great job, Miss Henches. Um, as we get going along, I think that that's going to be it for today. Again, have a great weekend. I'm sorry I got a little bit long here, but hopefully we'll see you soon. And if you need anything, please call. Uh, I'm willing to chat anytime and, and would love to sit down with you and pick your brain. Have a great one, everyone. Bear Pride!